cheeks. The Chandler family looks like every other family from the outside. But what you don't see is the journey and the setbacks it took to be the parents that they are today. And we were at one point where we thought, you know, we wouldn't even have kids or it would take a very long time. My sperm count was very low and most of them don't swim. Mm -hmm. So that was another big factor of going with IVF because mm -hmm. if we wait too long, it, we were, honestly would have to adopt instead of having Two of, two of us. Dr. Juliet Skinner, a fertility doctor based in Barbados, helped the Chandlers achieve their dream of becoming a family after doctors in Tulsa told them the treatment for in vitro fertilization would cost roughly $25,000. For many American patients, one of the first reasons they think outside the box is because they can't afford care locally and they start to look at, can I get the same treatment, but in a different country? And our costs are probably about 30 to 40% of the cost in the USA. All in all, including travel and food and getting a rental car, that was about 15,000 total. So that's all of that to leave for two weeks versus trying to do it here. Dr. Skinner says, although the cost is quite different, the treatment in both countries is virtually the same, and they even get their equipment from the same places. First of all, the, the whole infrastructure of medical care in the US is extremely high. When it comes to IVF, the actual equipment, the media, all the parts that go into IVF are made in a select number of companies that make this. So the entire globe uses the same products. Not only do financial factors influence the decision for couples to seek care outside of the United States, legislation does as well. Dr. Skinner shared that the fertility clinic she works at saw an increase in patients after the IVF ruling by the Alabama Supreme Court. We have many patients like that, that, you know, are not comfortable with the, with the changes in the laws and, and regulators and, and, and risk to them of what that might mean for them. And therefore, that's actually their impetus to think outside the box. They could afford treatment locally, but they're just not willing to do it now. We reached out to multiple fertility doctors in Oklahoma for comment on IVF treatment and costs, but none of them agreed to an interview. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services website, costs for a single cycle of IVF have recently been estimated to range from $15,000 to $20,000 and can even exceed $30,000. For over 15 years, we have been 90% of our patients not being from Barbados, so traveling to us. And what we've seen in the last number of years is that percentage that are, are USA based has continued to climb. You know, as costs have continued to, to climb and awareness is there of the idea that you can travel and get your IVF at a lower cost. You've arrived at your destination. Fast forwarding to tonight, our appointment went really well. We have 19 follicles, so I'm super excited about that. I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you. Come on! Yes, all of them, yes. I know it sounds scary trying to travel with medication and going overseas and doing the injections. All of it's gonna be scary either way, but I would do it again, and I would go to Barbados again because the care there was just absolutely amazing. The Chandlers share their IVF journey on social media and continue to advocate for all choices when it comes to starting a family. In Tulsa, Lauren Henry, News Channel 8.